Just before we get into today's RTG episode, I wanted to let you know that I have featured in a video with Black Panther to celebrate the launch of Need for Speed Heat. If you'd like to check that out, there'll be a link down below. Hello, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to Monday. Welcome to a new episode of the FIFA 20 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. This is episode number 62. And in today's episode, we shall be completing the rest of my weekend league games. Uh, now, obviously, if you do enjoy the episode, hit me with a thumbs up. If we can get 3,000 likes on this episode, you'll see a very happy lasty. Uh, and if you could subscribe to the channel if you're new, click the notification bell so you never miss an upload. That would be brilliant as well. Uh, so team-wise, you know, we're sticking with what we know, uh, with what we've got. Two marquee players in Mbappe and uh, a Messi. Uh, and of course, our most recent transfer was, um, uh, what well, we just bought the Blue Mendy, didn't we? So we could replace our Rusil on. We swapped our kits to put a couple of the eSports kits on, rocking the Footwiz home kit because uh, it's so nice. It really is a, a genuinely uh, a brilliant kit. Uh, and we go into our first weekend league game. Now, uh, this is a continuation of, uh, well, if, I think we ended off the last episode with a loss, did we not? So, uh, or with a, lo a loss or two. I can't remember what it was. But basically, I, I stopped for a little bit, and then I got back into it again, uh, and I was obviously still in a really, really bad mindset, and uh, and just, I, I, I'm not going to lie, I had terrible connection all weekend, and I don't want that to just be the biggest excuse out there, because I also played absolutely dreadful, but I literally quit my first game of this episode after going 3-0 down. The next match, we come up against Van Dijk and uh, UCL Gomez, who are, of course, going to be very difficult to get past. Uh, the guy had, like, Mane and Son, and, and just genuinely really nice squad. Solid, lot, uh, lots of solid players in there. Uh, and once again, I go 1-0 down. Uh, I think Son ends up making it 2-0. I'm just like, at this point in time, I've lost, I don't know how many games in a row, and I just keep quitting matches. Like, this is when you can really tell that your head's gone. Uh, and all I can do is sort of be like, you know what? It happens. I apologize that, you know, I, I, I'm sitting here quitting games because I'm going two or three goals down. Um, but I was just in a terrible mindset with this game. Uh, I felt like my Messi couldn't couldn't sprint, couldn't dribble, uh, and, and, and I was just getting lucky with the goals that I was scoring. I felt very unfortunate with some of the goals that I was conceding. I just couldn't, I couldn't defend. Uh, it was, it was a, a really, really weird place to be in. Now, I've experienced delay before, just like the rest of us, you know, we all experience it, and I'm sure my opponents are experiencing it in these games, but they were dealing with it a whole lot better than I was, you know, uh, FIFA Rage is real, uh, and when it happens, you, there's just no one or nothing that can be said or done to, to get you out of this, this horrible spiral of things just going downwards and bad and horrible, and uh, like, like right here, I was winning this game, like, uh, and then eventually I end up uh, right here. I, I pass the ball to Vardy for a first time shot and he doesn't take the shot. And I'm just like, oh my God, that could have been the equalizer. And I, and at that point, I'm just like, I'm, I'm freaking done with this game. I was at nine wins for I don't know how long. I went, I think I went from nine and three or nine and four to like nine and seven or i don't know it was it was really bad it is obviously what you're witnessing right now um but the good thing about losing a bunch of games in a row is that typically that i mean obviously what that does is reduce your form uh, and we've seen it before i've gone 14 and 2 i've gone 14 and 3 in the weekend league on this game uh so i i can play against people at a decent level of form uh, and I can beat them at a decent level of form. You know, it, it, I've shown that. Uh, I've shown that we can do that. We've had much better weekends than this. Uh, so obviously, what it comes down to is when we get to this stage where I've won a few and lost loads, uh, is that our form is pretty terrible. So sometimes you can come up against a guy that you get a two 0 victory uh, after nine minutes. You know, so that, that's the only good thing about having like loads and loads of losses uh, is that actually for me playing to fourteen wins. I could take 16 losses if I really wanted to, uh, and, and that would have essentially make the games a little bit easier, or th that's what was going through my head anyway. So uh, we get up to 10 wins, and I was like, I, I took a little break at 10 wins, and, and then decided, you know what, uh, I need to just, I need to knock these games out of the park, I need to just get them done, because I, I, 
uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Anyway, in between that, it became like 6 p.m. and we got some new content and uh, and uh, and we got the Born to Play SBC, of which uh, I could submit a bunch of my untradeable stuff. Uh, and I think the, the blue that I submitted was tradable, but it doesn't sell for anything uh, to get a... 25k pack i'm pretty sure it was so one of the champions league SBCs. uh i like it that you know we're kind of in the road to the final promo i guess right now um but it is nice that we're getting those SBCs every day some of them haven't been that amazing but uh to submit that squad right there for a 25k pack i'd say that's super worth it you're basically submitting a bunch of un uh, untradeables or low risk low rated stuff for a potential chance to get something good especially when rttf players are in packs there's a chance to get a road to the final play. If you see that, I guess it's like a purple flare with like blue coming down. If you see that, you are you are in for money because I don't think any of those live items are selling for uh, a small price. They're EA have won, gone crazy with the picks this year. Uh, we've got some insane players like Kante and Son and Mane and and, and obviously they they've picked some amazing players. Which uh, whoever wins the Champions League. Their, their players are going to be, like, super juiced. Uh, imagine, for example, Napoli won the Champions League. It's probably not going to happen. But uh, if Napoli won the Champions League, can you imagine what that Allen's going to be like? He's going to be like a Totti Kante. Uh, and, and, and that's what I really like to see. I, I, you know, the, the player choices have been good. Last year, they were fairly good. There were some very good ones, uh, but then some slightly less meta players. Whereas this year... Wowee, we have got some insane players. Like if Barca were to win the, the Champions League or, you know, let's say they get knocked out and go in and go on to win the Europa League, that Usman Dembele would be outstanding, uh, unbelievably good. So, uh, yeah, we've got hope for that sort of thing to happen. Uh, and as well, like the Liverpool players, if, you, have, if, you, if you've done the Joe Gomez SBC, you are a Liverpool supporter at this point in time because you are going to be hoping and praying that for the money you've paid, you get a great centre-back at the end of it. Uh, so anyway, we progress in the season ranks uh, uh, past level three, nearly up to level four, but I guess the XP is super low at this point in time. Uh, we get a Jumbo Gold Pack. Can we get can we get a walkout from the Jumbo Gold Pack? Um or, or are we going to carry on with my terrible pack luck this year? You know, I've, I've not had a good pack ever on this game. Yeah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You guys hate me for my pack luck. Um, although it hasn't actually been that great lately, has it? Really? We got Lengley the other day, which I'm happy with. But other than that, I get a lot of packs like this. A lot of my SBC packs have been kind of trash. I think. Uh, I can't remember the last amazing, amazing pool. I guess you could class Langley as an amazing pool. Um, anyway, so we don't get anything from the 25k pack. We get a duplicate untradeable De Rossi. Uh, but it, it, uh, it's not a 25k pack. Jumbo gold pack. Whatever you think they go for. Is that a 10 or a 15k pack? Not sure. But we go on into another game after we got a win in the last one. So we should be all good here. Uh, and uh, an unfortunate bounce after Roberto Firmino shot falls to my opponent. He gets the goal. Uh, I, I sloppily give away a penalty. Uh, PK is the uh, is the one that gives it away. And um, Aubameyang steps up and slots it into the right corner. So I'm 2-0 down already. <laughs> I'm just like, I played a little bit longer in that game. I did try and get back into it. And then I think something just triggered me to quit. Uh, I must have missed a sitter or something like that. But anyway, that's yet another game we've quit this weekend. I couldn't even tell you what my record is right now now probably 10 and 8 well, I don't know it's bad it's really bad anyway Messi knocks it down the wing we are up against an opponent which I think we can beat here Messi cuts it inside gets it past that defender takes the shot and the goal that we end up getting is uh, is that it's the rebound it's the it's the low effort doesn't really work for it. Took a pot shot with Messi kind of goal. Anyway, I, I do eventually earn a nice goal there after 73 minutes. It is uh, Jamie Vardy, the super sub, coming on and scoring a goal for me there. Uh, and I get a 2-0 win. I get a clean sheet and I get a victory. And that pushes us up to 12 wins. Oh, so we must be like 12 and... Nine or eight. I don't know what it is. Anyway, uh, we come up against a squad. Like, this level of squad, when I've got 12 wins, I normally never come up against a team like that. Uh, that shows that we've obviously lost lots. We've got lower form, and we are coming up against players that could actually just be like 4-0 and oh, or they could be 8-4 and four, or whatever it is you know we've got that poor form so uh, there is potential for us to come up against someone with a low rated squad however I'm going to end up quitting this game because as you can see he gets a free kick and I fast forward it minutes and minutes and minutes and it just it doesn't take the free kick I don't know what it was but he wasn't quitting I, I tried to make a substitute to like kickstart an animation it didn't work 
out for us. I was still annoyed at the, the previous matches, so uh, I just dashboarded and got another loss for absolutely nothing there because the game screwed up. So uh, it just wasn't my weekend, really. Uh, and then we come up against this squad. He's got... He had a blue Messi, <laughs> he had Mane, he had Zola, uh, genuinely nice players that are very tricky and difficult to play against, uh, and you can see the the level of goal that he scored for that second one right there, and I quit again. I'm actually really like embarrassed about how many times I've quit this weekend. Uh, it goes to show you that <laughs> what this game can do. Anyway, next game we come up against a Red Griezmann, a Juan Sebastian Veron, who I would say is probably a not a great icon on this game like he's not one of the better ones I don't think uh, we go 1-0 up took us 15 minutes but we eventually get through with Mbappe uh, and go 1-0 up uh, Griezmann then picks the ball up inside the box Lengley with the super long touch goes straight to Mares. Uh, I thought I was going to tackle with PK I thought I was going to clear it with Semedo <laughs> Veron who I've just said is an average icon Takes that back on me and scores against me. Anyway, Mbappe plays it forward. Jamie Vardy's there. This is in extra time. 105 minutes on the clock. We get ourselves a goal. Uh, we are looking like we are going to win this match in extra time. I just need to keep hold of the ball. That's all I've got to do. Um, but yeah, he, he is pr at least proven to be someone that can score some late goals in uh, like super sub style. So uh, it, I appreciate that. You know, he, he's been worth his money already, I would say. Um... But yeah, of course, I concede in the 117th minute. Yet again, some dodgy defending is going to send this game <coughs> to penalties. Uh, am I ready for a penalty shootout? Well, in this mindset, abso absolutely not. Uh, the first one, he steps up, scores with Jacko, And I noticed that he didn't change his direction from when his first... When he first did his head movement. So the second time, I went with it. I went with whatever his head movement was. And then I decided to do the same with mine. Keep it... Keep it exactly where I started. Don't move around. Don't make that circle bigger for the chance to for the ball to go over or wide or whatever. Um, and then hit a, a green one or a yellow one down the middle. So I'm 1-0 up at the moment. But uh, unfortunate to not save that one. And Bappe then steps up. And that's a poor penalty. That's a terrible penalty, in fact. Uh, luckily, I save his next one. So we keep our one goal advantage. And if we score this with Pep Guardiola here, you can see I'm just playing a couple of mind tricks. Uh, we're going to win the game. So I step up. I let it go down the middle, and, and how I've won that, how he's not saved that and put that wide, I will never know. So uh, I get the, the win in the luckiest penalty shootout you've ever seen, uh, and that pushes us up to uh, 13 wins, <laughs> and we can push into what is hopefully going to be our final match of the weekend league, because we're sitting on like 10 losses right now. Uh, anyway, PK, uh, at Dali Alley. Delhi Ali and Hulk are the screen players that this guy's got. He's also got the flashback Theo Walcott. So he's done a few SBCs this year. Uh, and it took a little bit of uh, short passing and stuff to get inside the box. Work inside the box for Messi to get that 1-0 goal. Um, as many goals as he has scored for us this weekend, I've just felt so limited by him unfortunately you know Mbappe still has that obviously that rapid pace and the five star skill moves and that I think is the difference maker in lag sometimes is that you can just take like a scoop turn and get past the defender or you can just take a long touch or something like that that that, that is the difference for me sometimes whereas Messi small slightly slower and if if the game's not playing right, if if, if you're getting lag and stuff, uh, then then the, the dribbling can just feel awful, um, and he becomes kind of useless at that point in time. So uh, yeah, it it makes me want to keep Mbappe and sell Messi is basically where we're getting to at this point. So I finally won my 14th game, 14 and 10, probably the worst weekend league I've ever had. More rage quits, more quits than ever. Just just an awful, embarrassing display, which I apologize for. You know, it, it happens. I think that shows the sort of level of player that I actually am. Uh, if all things are going well for me, yeah, I can cruise to 14 wins in no time. But if things are going bad, it's just like awful. Uh, and I'm a terrible, terrible, terrible player. Uh, anyway, um, so, Messi has, has scored 50 goals for us. He's got a bunch of assists and he's played like nearly 40 games or something like that. Mbappe has scored 120, got 65 assists in 117 games. He, he's doing really, really well. I, I still absolutely love him. Um, I've toyed with the idea of actually selling both of them. And that would probably end me up at about 2 million coins. Which is short. It's short of getting a Zidane. It's short of getting a Pele or a whoever. Uh, you know, I'd be hundreds of thousands of coins short still. But for now, we are actually going to sell Messi. Now, 
in the <laughs> in the grand scheme of things, imagine imagine this is my luck. I list him for this, which is 15k higher than the lowest one on the market at the time. Whilst he is up on the market, he scores a hat trick, two of which are free kicks, basically solidifying himself in the next team of the week, uh, whilst my one is up on the market not selling, and eventually he sells because people buy the cheaper ones, uh, and, and his price shoots up because obviously he's going to get an inform, it's looking likely anyway, so he's probably over 1.2 again now, but just to just to add insult to injury, uh, I sell him at a little bit of a cheaper rate, and um, I mean, that was still 15k more than the, the people that were selling at the lowest at the time uh but yeah Messi Messi is gone Messi is going up on the market and he will he will be gone um I've I have really enjoyed him I think he's got a wand of a left foot and is absolutely insane in good gameplay uh but at this point in time after that weekend league I've just had I felt a little bit limited by him for the price that he is I think I could maybe bring in a couple of other players to strengthen the team I'm not sure what I'm gonna do just yet um, <clears throat> there are a few players that I've got in mind. We are we, we have 1.2 million right now, and we've still got a tradable Mbappe. If we wanted to, we could sell um, the left back, the right back, the right mid, and the striker. Yeah, we could get rid of Mbappe, Dembele, Semedo, and Mendy. Like, and and that would make uh, obviously a, a, probably a million coins to sell all of those lot, uh, which would then give me 2.2 million or 2.1 million after tax or something like that. It's a pretty good place to be, but what we could do with that money, I don't really know. Um, maybe we could just strengthen some other areas. Like, if I was to pick areas that are not necessarily super strong, it would probably mainly be my midfielder, that Taliso. Uh, I feel like I need more of a ball player than a... Uh, than someone that's also a little bit defensive like Pep Guardiola, especially if we were going to stick with the 4-4-2. Um, I might dabble in the 4 triple two because then having two CDM-like players could work and then we could have we could get Griezmann a little bit more centrally uh, and another Cam to bring in, another marquee player perhaps. Not quite sure what to do. I don't think I'm going to bring Neymar back just because like I'd rather... I think at this at this point, I'd rather try someone new. Obviously, I could now afford, like, Neymar and Kante. I could do that, and that would probably be the best thing for our team. But I also might experiment in other areas. So, you might also see Mbappe get sold. I, I'm not sure yet. Um, but <laughs> if I completely lose it, then, uh, then yeah, I might sell Mbappe and maybe see if we can bring in a high-tier icon or another crazy player. Not sure just yet. Um, this weekend league has thrown me. I'm not going to lie. It, it has really put me off, like... I, I'm not sure what I'm doing. So Messi's gone. That has happened. He's gone. He's out of here. Uh, that might. I, I don't think that'll be the last time we use Messi. You know, we'll probably pack him on in red on Thursday, right? That'll be the dream, anyway. Uh, that would solve quite a lot of problems. But yeah, guys, that is going to be the end of the episode. Apologies for the poor display in the weekend league. But hey, we got to 14 wins, which is what we go to every week. The amount of losses we take doesn't actually really matter as long as it's not more than 16 losses, right? Um, if you if you can resonate with the having a bad weekend league and you want to just support me a little bit, smash that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it today. Uh, and of course, don't forget to sub to the channel if you're new. You can uh, you can click the notification bell so you can never miss an upload. Follow me on Twitter and Insta. The links are down below. Uh, and most importantly, I hope you all out there have a wonderful day. I will catch you tomorrow with another episode. Peace. Peace.